Scorpio, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card spread that I'm going to do here on YouTube, a full energy reading. It is for Scorpio energy. It is not a horoscope. So you can apply this to wherever Scorpio energy influences your natal chart. Remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it because we don't want to break that astrological wheel. Um, I always do an extended video to give you a deeper read, a deeper understanding, to give you the option to have a deeper, more personal reading that is a full tarot card spread that, articu that articulates and expands upon what we get in the energies here. And that includes a romance reading. That link is below and it's also in the comment section. So please um, help the channel grow and subscribe. I do not date my videos anymore. I've realized it was, it was pointless, <laughs> but I do upload a new video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, subscribe and ring that bell and you'll get notified as soon as they come up. All right, Scorpio, thank you for all your love and constant support. I'm so grateful for you. Happy full moon in Virgo. Let's see what energies are going to affect you for this week. Scorpio energy, 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 Scorpio energy. Something's coming out the back too. Scorpio energy. What's crowning your energy? Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Sneaking out. All right. Crowning your energy. Learn from the past. Two plus five. Ooh. So two plus five, 25, adds up to seven. So this is about creation. What are you creating? What are you working on? working on and building your new life. Cause this is about wisdom. This is about family. This is about love. This is about protection. You could be working on family. You could be working on or prioritizing, um, prioritizing your home life, thinking of having more children or uh, expanding on your family or prioritizing your family. Now thinking about changing your career so that you get to spend more time with them or thinking for the first time in your life about becoming a family person, um, as in starting a family. This is expanding and, and developing that sense sort of beyond yourself, but like literally your bloodline, as in something is happening through your bloodline. Um, no, I don't mean like, like, like DNA disorders. That's not what I mean. Um, because this is a very positive energy. It's protective. So this week, depending on where the cards lie, there could be a lot of energy of, because this is Taurus energy. So this is earth energy. This is grounding you. This is you 3D making your family a priority, but also in a very protective defensive way. It could very well be that there's something going on familiarly that you need to, um, Put all your focus and attention on it this week. Um, something that you will be able to handle, like something like that your past experiences, almost like one of your children or somebody that you consider family is going through something that you have, ha that you lived through, that you experienced. So it's almost like aiding and assisting or working them through or helping them to fix or heal or um, avoid some sort of predicament or damage. So it's you being protective, or it could very well be flip-flopped as in somebody from your family wanting to protect you. You could be receiving help this week or these next couple of weeks from, from people within your family or gathering around. It's got to do with a sense of um, Finding balance and finding, finding, finding your roots, finding stability, your roots. You could actually be learning 
or finding a family member that you've been looking for for a while or somebody out of your past, like a family member that you haven't met before is coming out of the past because there is this link between you, ancestral, your past and your present and it like coming to fruition and helping to learn, helping you to teach or guide or helping it or teaching and guiding you forward in your life through this stage of your life. It's a, like I said, it's a protective, it's a healing, it's a defensive, but you're, it's 3D, it's not just spiritual. So this would be rooted in facts. It would be rooted in resources. It's Taurus energy. So it would be rooted in, um, the tangible. So something could be developing or coming out of your past. It's almost like, and this is just your crowning energy. I love this energy. Look at this card. You know, this could be, look at, you see how he's been through the ringer? It's like going through the battle and, and, and having had it like transform you, having suffered, having learned from that suffering. And now you're stronger, you're scarred, you're scarred, but you're almost more cap like more capable of, it's like, you're more capable of, of accepting yourself scarred than you were before the scars, because it's almost like in, in living through all those struggles, you became, it, it helped you accept the person that you are right now and, and love that person and believe in that person. And now you can pay it forward and help other people or teach other people or get ducks in a row for like, based on what you've experienced, help your children or help somebody that is like family to you. There's a familiar connection. Let me go on and, and read the rest of the cards. This is also Taurus spirit. The miracles are endless. So there's abundance and there's happiness. There's also success. There's also being singled out as special, as some sort of an energy of, um, of, The more Taurus energy could be profit. I mean, I don't like, are you using some sort of ancestral line? Are you connecting with your family? Are you building on the family business? This is sort of the transfer of resources, but something is working out. A great deal of fortune and abundance has, is coming down the line. Finally, after something that you've been working hard on is actually coming through. Okay. This and that are true. Playing, playfulness, skipping in the shallows, or being more shallow, focused on more, some, some focused on the surface as opposed to what's underneath. So being able to be sort of relieved of the heaviness that is usually your connection to what's going on subvertedly. It's almost like, yeah, you've connected the roots to the treetop. You could also be healing familiar, a family karma, like curing it and healing it and ending it. Like the battle is over. Turn knowledge into wisdom. That's more of the same energy of like getting ahead of the game because now you understand something or something has come to light. And this definitely has something to do with turning something intangible into something tangible. So I don't know if you're using your natural talents or your natural gifts and you're finding a huge breakthrough in that direction or you're taking like your family, like a, a, a family dream, a family goal, something to do with your past and you're using it to not only expand on who you are, but on what you do out loud. There's a huge opportunity, opportunity that is coming through your past and what you've learned in the past. 
turn knowledge into wisdom. This is Piscean energy, Scorpio. This is moon energy, something being hidden or something, um, not necessarily something being hidden. Yeah, well, or something that was in the dark for a while. But remember, wolves are also pack animals. So this is strength through the dark, using your family or helping people that are in your, like strength through the dark, like getting through the hard times and shedding the light in dark times and, and, and being able to make the sunshine and try and like, like tra the transference of, I, I can't describe it. And I'm so sorry. Hold on. Take time out. This is mama bear energy too. This is seriously energy of just willing to be attacked and rip at somebody's throat because they're hurting or harming or making somebody that you love suffer. This is literally the energy of seeing, maybe seeing something that was shady, seeing something that was hidden in the dark, discovering it, but being able to finally put your finger on it and turn it into something tangible, maybe prove it, maybe show it, demonstrate it so that now finally other people believe it too and other people believe you. This is more defensive energy and it's your central energy as well. But this is really strong energy and shamanic energy, once again, healing. Be peace, bringing tranquility and balance to a situation that was very tumultuous. Arguing, a lot of arguing, maybe a lot of arguing with in, in and amongst your family or in and amongst your like your near like your home life or even maybe with your mother or your father itself. Lots of strife, lots of back and forth. Something is or something is trying to attack or affect them, and now you get it and you realize it, and you're figuring out how to bring justice. This is Libra card. This is Libra and bringing peace and balance. This is almost like the justice card. Getting justice, having made an argument for people that you care about, um, defended them, protected them, uh, fought for them. And now you're being, be, um, you're actually being the, you're the conduit Scorpio for, um, justice and peace and balance being restored. Set healthy boundaries, armadillo spirit. This is something that has brought you down big time. It's been weighing on you for a long time. Heavy, heavy armor. It could have been, um, um, this is Cancerian energy, but once again, also defensive energy, defending the heart space, defending the home space, defending your home and protecting your home. You could be standing up for your children, sticking up for your elderly parents. You could also be sticking up for your ancestral rights. This is some sort of defense of those things that are closest to you and most tender to you. Um, it could be, it has to do with close to the heart space, close to the heart space. Um, Oh, God, this is, um, I honestly feel this is like building walls to protect people and defend people, but getting your armor ready, getting your battle armor ready, because you're going to be going at it with somebody. Energy of three. So mode it be, you are once again manifesting something. <sighs> Hold on. See the big picture. Nine plus two is awakening. This is also Taurus energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, but to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. What matters is Taurus is financial. Taurus is the financial, tangible, luxury stuff. There's something going on here that you that you could see, that you saw far out on. Grounded, understanding, uh, taking care of. You could be protecting somebody's health, healing them, warning them, watching out for them, looking out for them, but seeing a big picture in terms of Finding out what's really going on instead of getting lost in the craziness. You're the one that sees above it. And also planning for the future, making sure that your future looks bright, making sure that your family is cared for or taken care of so that, you know, like like looking far out so that you're, you're guarding them or protecting them. This could also be this energy of, you know, um, building a home, buying a home, putting together your house. Um, um, setting roots, but the roots that will definitely be carrying you into the future. There is this constant sense of rooting and grounding, finding where you belong, maybe reconnecting, doing Ancestry.com and reconnecting to family that you haven't spoken to, family coming out of the blue, finding people, finding parents that you have been searching for and looking for, being scared, but at the same time, 
confronting that fear being what brings you back into balance and helping you find peace in the situation that's caused you a great deal of um, fear and worry and and sort of sort of broken lines and broken connections problems in the past like it's really beat you up right but it's this energy that's really beating you up that's made you stronger and made you become everything that you are so that maybe you don't repeat the same patterns going on into the future with your children and that's what you're trying to protect them from and defend them from now is no 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 we're not going down this route again i don't want to be like my parents i don't want to i don't want to repeat these patterns i want to do what's right for them i want to do what's good for them very 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 centered and focused on um your heart space and your home space or whatever is home for you. So this doesn't have to be necessarily DNA bloodline. This could be if you're part of whoever you consider your family. I'm just gonna put it there, okay? Um, use your mind wisely, pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Ooh, um, once again, but this is not grounding energy, grounded energy. This is when pigs fly. So this is when, <laughs> this is when the impossible comes true. The impossible happens. A huge breakthrough coming through um, in finally because you used your mind in the right way and you broke through the paranoia. This could be, like I said, breaking a generational curse, finally being the first one to get sober or heal from mental issues or not make the same mistakes and throw away all their money, but instead be able to invest it and grow on it and develop it. And, and you know what I'm saying? This is like the feeling like the impossible happened, but the impossible just happened. Scorpio, you just made the impossible happen. Interesting. Time to let go. Yes, this beautiful energy. Once again, three plus one is grounding. Um, there's a lot of earth energy happening here. We're entering tomorrow, like I said, happy full moon in Virgo. That is earth energy. Simultaneously, what does that, that do for us? It helps us let go of anything that is not serving us especially with that virgo mindset of being able to sift through those things that we have to let go emotionally this is letting go of the past like letting go of the hurt that has made you suffer for maybe generations and maybe lifetimes letting it go whatever has been needling your heart gnawing on your heart this is a sense of finally not only being able to find it and discern it right or turn all this pain and suffering that you've gone through um turn it around into something else that something that saves somebody else's life Ooh. sometimes life stings so this is definitely something's been bugging you that's the card that's what this means it's, this is your energy right so it's almost like you're it could be you're the one that was bugging people you're the one that was pushing the issue you're the one that was saying, hey, this is a problem. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be solved. And you know what? Lots of times people don't listen to you because bottom line is you'll be seeing things or feeling things from miles, miles away. But ultimately, this is a sense of like needling, bugging. It could have to do with more than just your personal world, with the world in general. Something is bugging you. Something is infesting your life. Something is worrying you. Something that you feel like there has been a threat. But you, it's almost like, it's almost like, but this is your energy because this is like, this is like stinging, stinging, stinging. And you're the one that's been pointing this out for how long and people haven't been doing anything about it, but you kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. Think the gadfly, Socrates, the gadfly, being the one that pesters people, right? Maybe you're the one that's been pestering people. You're the one that's been nagging, trying to get this solved, trying to get this fixed. But now it's not just in this underground caverns of where you feel the most hurt and pain, but, but now it's like above ground and now everybody else feels it too. This could also have to do with somebody has been nagging you, nagging you uh, via the web, over the web. Something has been bug bu bugging you over the web. People have been nasty. Um, people have been pushing. People have been nagging. People have been insulting. Something going on it could be, like I said, with the world wide web. So it could be going on online line that's really starting to get to you but that is coming to a close six plus four energy of ten something has come to fulfillment 
And last but not least, also Cancerian energy, nine plus one is 10. Be loyal to what you love. Despite the hurt, despite the pain, despite the suffering, you have stuck with this. You have continued to... Um, you have continued to believe that the situation will get better. And because you have believed it, it is starting to. People are starting to see what you were saying. This is your grounding energy. So this is almost like a breakthrough from the roots up. And now people are finally being able to, hey, realize it's, it's like it's reached the surface. They're getting on board with this. Once again, this is about the heart space and the home space. Cancerian energy, something that you cared about, something that mattered to you. Finally, um... Um, unconditionally, finally making that breakthrough, finally healing. Sometimes life stings. Time to let go of what's been hurting you or, or this perceived harm that could have been going on for a long, for generations, for generations, even before your lifetime started. But this is it. Like you finally recognized it. You finally, um, kind of like marked what was causing the problem so that you could heal it. Be loyal to what you love. You're sticking by. This is literally like come, he come heck or high water, you're going to stand by the people that you believe in. You could have been tempted or um, bullied or pressured into hurting or harming or abandoning and leaving people that you really cared about. And you're like, heck no, I won't go. That's this kind of energy, but there's a, there's a breakthrough here. It's a breakthrough between you and everybody else. And now everybody else, like finally being able to see what you were being so protective of or your protection being what made the breakthrough to help solve a huge issue that has to do with your home, your heart space, and also your finances. Let me flip the camera around to review really quickly. If you want to go over to the extended right now, that link is below. So here's your crowning energy easily learned from the past. You've been beat up, you've been um, tortured, tormented, lots of suffering, but you've come through it. And it's almost like you like, like I said, you like yourself better scarred. Why? Because you earned it. It's like you had to earn your way up from the underworld. You had to force yourself up. This could very well be coming from the bottom up. You know what I'm saying? You built it ground up. The energy of building something ground up and it finally breaking through. So now you're establishing new roots and new foundation for your family. That could be why you're now starting to think about family family, family, or how am I going to, um, how am I going to protect, defend, or make sure that the future of me is going to be safe and protected and guarded, standing by them, making long-term commitments, also, um, Dealing with suffering that has been hurting you for quite some time. This energy, it could be actual physical healing, but I feel like it's more, um, like I said, healing those generational curses. Like not making the same mistakes that your parents did. For, for, uh, figuring out this week that, oh my God, I made the breakthrough. I did what they couldn't. I solved the problem. I solved the issue. Let's like, I, I, I broke that curse. I broke the, um, I broke the cycle. You did break the wheel. That's what you did. You stopped it and you started something completely new. I'm going to go over to Tara. Please join me, Scorpio. I'm going to expand on this reading and of course do the love reading. Guys, I'll see you over there.